Look at it. Watch this. This is cool. Oh. Airborne. I've been airborne in a car, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty wild. Hey, everybody. Larry Lawton here for another edition of the GTA Review. I'm going to be reviewing the second option Lester and his gang had with the big uh, four-ton bullion gold heist. Uh, it's going to be a great one here today. I'm really enjoying the GTAs. Everybody, please make sure you check out our member program on Patreon, also on YouTube. We got great merch. We keep developing new merch because you guys asked me to, and you guys always ask for certain stuff. So make sure you just go check out our merch store, and it's great t-shirts, stuff like that, and you'll love it. Let's get right to this heist. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Here we got my main man, Lester, coming up with the crew again. This one, they need a small crew. This one's different than the other one with uh, with you. It helps you a whole bunch of stuff. They need a hacker and a crew to go in uh, with armored cars. They don't need helicopters and, and earth movers and a train. First time I've seen a train. Well, my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. I got a good feeling about him. And driver number one I, I always get a kick out of when they pick their crew the it, it, it kind of makes me like what the hell are they talking about I got a good feeling about this guy what do you mean you got a good feeling good feeling this one's new blood does Lester have a better wardrobe I've never seen Lester in anything but jeans and a plaid shirt <laughs> I know I just never have I think it could work it will work as long as I don't like this other guy though that that Michael keeps fighting uh, I don't think Franklin likes him either. Fucking asshole. Hey, man. So we really doing this shit? Frank, come on. Next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state of the art. Cool. First of all, hey, we're I'm gonna stop for a second because no great hacker, and I know a few, would ever let Lester get the equipment for this hack. Not happening. Hackers are mega people who want their own stuff and they know what to get and they know everything. Otherwise, why do you need them? You don't need Lester to get his stuff. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. Come on, we're on the clock. Let's get to the tunnel. I kind of like the setup of this one. I mean, it's really going well. I mean, bam, hit a tree, hit a pole, Darius, hit a pole. Their cherry on the Union Depository? Hey. Yeah, so hey, what the guy said, someone's losing their cherry on the Union Depository. Come on, think about what that is. He's right. You got me this hookup. All right, the trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. No need to Nobody be comes under this tunnel. I kind of get that. Something Again, here's a city. Is it a deserted city? Just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me want to panic. All right, here we go. This One guy it. wouldn't be like that. So he's like all scared and panicky either. Rock and roll. Seriously? The first Let's car go. I ever saw going by. Deploy the stinger. Okay, now keep driving. You don't think those truck drivers would have saw those, those, they're called stop sticks. And they actually have them where they can shoot them across the road. Cops do. Out! Out! And they wouldn't hit that quick. If you pop those things, the tires can keep going. Also on armored trucks. Let me stop for a second. First of all, on armored cars, and I knew armored car criminals who were the best in the business. They would never get out of that. They would radio in and they would say we're under attack or something of that nature and they could lock those doors and you couldn't get in there. Now, maybe if a guy's, you know, facing them with a rocket launcher, it'll open up and get out. But there's no way they're just going to get out with guns pointing at them because it's all bulletproof. That's what they called armored trucks, armored cars or armored trucks for stopping bullets and stuff of that nature. So trust me, those guys wouldn't open up. And those tires are puncture-proof tires. That wouldn't happen. And even if they did, it would happen way, way down the road. It wouldn't happen right then and then. It would rip up a tire. So it was a little bit, you know, a little sketchy, this opening. Lester didn't plan all that. Your move, buddy. No, 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 no. 
Get a fucking move. Now, on, the employees you. would be panicking because they're not built for this. Trust me, they're not built for this. Please, get these ready. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we All go. that time we under that, wherever it is, that uh, underpass or whatever is no cars coming by. You can change a tire. You can do anything you want. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey. Get in the fucking truck. Let's go. Go, go, go. They take one guy with them. Smart move. Wimp, wimp. Now, where's the other guys? Union Depository. Here we one go. One truck and two truck, but where are the guys? Nobody's saying where the other guys were. Are they left on the street? If they were, you don't think they would call ahead and say we were shit, robbed? Shit, 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 Come shit. on. Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck. Fuck. Look. Casey. I need you... I like the way the truck hits the next truck. You know that was funny. I mean, come on. I, I, it had me cracking up. Boom! He hits the other. He hits himself. It's useful. Yeah. That was funny. Right. Cool. Cool as a cucumber. I'll tell you what. These graphics are pretty cool. I mean, the way they set these things up is really cool. I gotta say that. In sight. Stand by. Hey. I was expecting you like half minute ago. <laughs> Okay, they show the ID through the window and there's no other checking. That wouldn't happen either. They're not going to just wave you through. And now they're letting everybody know with an earpiece saying, hey, go through. Here they are, they're backing up to the thing. There's another guy, the boss. This guy checks IDs. They're here. Don't do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization? Now, he gives a guy an authorization and all of this, but they would know who they are. They would know who's coming first Good. before they show an ID. That bank or that vault knows who's coming to get that money. Trust me. Good. Access is good. Courtesy, escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. Now, to go get four... Tons of gold. They take three people? Trust me, they'd be taking six or eight people. You, you don't just push that stuff around like it's like a, you know, a feather. It's like rolling a car around. Think of what I just said. Rolling a car around. Kind of funny up to this point. I mean, too easy. Would never happen, obviously. They get all the way. Look at the gold. On these rollers remember what i just said to you that's rolling a car around if there's four thousand tons that's eight thousand pounds each one of those are four thousand pounds push your car around like that guy's doing not happening kind of funny though these are heavy a little over two tons of pallet a little over two tons of power. Over two tons of power. 4,000 pounds of power. 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... $200 million or thereabouts. Give me a... Yep, that sounds about right. And you're walking around like it's nothing. You got many jobs after this? No, this last one. Small talk. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Putting him in the loading bay. Getting out of there. Tell me that wouldn't be the easiest robbery in the world. Okay. Now I'm going to stop. They get to a place to transfer the gold to the cars. I get that. There is always. I remember many robberies. We would actually rob a truck of VCRs. Back then, boy, did I just age myself. VCRs or... Back then, it was camcorders or something of that nature. TVs even, you know, and they were big old TVs. It wasn't like today. Anyway, we would be robbing this stuff, and we would take the stuff to a place to switch it to another either truck, or we used to go right to a warehouse. We would stash it in a warehouse, and boom. And we even knew what box the GPS was. because companies started getting smart and putting a box that was had a GPS in it so if that box was, they can go right to that box if you put it in a warehouse. So what did we do? We ended up finding a person 
in the inside telling us where in the truck the box was that have it marked specially. We would stop along the road, take that mock box out, put it along the side of the road. Now the GPS says it's just waiting there, could have been stuck or something, and we're already long gone. And we dumped the load in a warehouse. Now once it's in a warehouse, we leave it there until the heat dies down for a few days. And that was the end of that. I don't understand why they didn't do this. Here they're going to cars. Let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time. Put that in a warehouse and nobody would have known anything about it. That's it. Let's go. Yeah, dog. We you can do stuff like this. They can hack into systems to control stoplights, control railroad crossings, control a lot of things. Computers. But is it Franklin? They're really going to give Franklin this job? Come on. Merryweather coming from the east, dog. And May Merryweather. Merryweather must be like a, a armored, like a, a, what do they call the mercenaries. Hold on. We're in. Because when they find them at the spot. Hey, I picked them. Wow. Merryweather, northwest of your position. Oh, shit. Merryweather. Mercenary mother. I need your shootout. I love my GTA shootouts. I love that our guys get hit. Not that I love that I get hit. But if you had a... a, a Red mark here. I was hit here. I'm in trouble, bro. You're hitting the back and the side. Franklin is shot up here. And Franklin always comes out of it good. This is someone's home, you shoot away, man. This is just shoot in a homeless camp. We deal with the marks, we get out. You know, in America, if if you're watching this, anybody, that they do have these things in big cities. Uh, they have homeless camps that are under bridges and in the subways in New York City. They're literally underground in the subways. And it, it's sad. It's very sad. So count your blessings where you are. Watching this and watching me. Man, it's shooting away. That's the last of them. Even at sight. Look at the bullet holes. Now, now look at this for a second. Look at the bullet holes. One... One, two, three. Riding off into the sunset. And he said, what stopped me from running off? He's right about that. There's the only guy who can flip. But look at the bullet holes in him. Franklin. Franklin's got bullet holes all over him. Tell you what. Franklin's got a lot of blood in him. I love the cars. Chargers. Souped up chargers with heavy suspension. They talked about the suspension in this. The last GTA I did with the helicopters, they didn't talk about the weight. The cops are getting frisky. Let's lock here. Let's go. Take it away. Drive, baby, drive. Darian, drive, baby, drive. Now you're allowed to break the laws. You know that. Punks ram. Oh, man, the guy rammed him. That was pretty cool. He didn't move him, though. They would do a pit move. You know what a pit move is, right? Let me stop it. A pit move is when they actually push, they get near your back end of your car and they push you over and it actually spins you out. They actually called a pit move. Cops are trained in that. Go, Gary, and go. Man, your tires gotta be good. Take that cut. Oh, man, get taking fire. There's a trap. Look at this. Watch this. This is cool. Oh. Airborne. I've been airborne in a car, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty wild. Ooh, you hit an 18 wheel. You're done. You're done. Game over. You hit an 18 wheel. You lose. Ooh, smash that cop car. This was an actually pretty good, good move here. Get in the tunnel. But you needed a big lead on this. Just a normal commute. Here's the tunnel. You are seeing a few cars in here, but not, you know, I don't know what freeway. If it's LA, forget that. Look at this. This was pretty cool.
I like that getaway. Cops are waiting for a car and they think they're in the in the tunnel now. That was pretty cool. I love the graphics in these things. All right, those guys will take care of the metal. There you go, there's my main man Franklin. Where's the bullet holes? I love Michael's house. Come on, guys. Great house. I'd love a house like that. My house is not like that. <laughs> Look at Lester. They said it was Michael's house, not Lester's. Question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days. Again, is Lester ever going to be in anything but jeans and a flannel shirt? Where? Exactly. Where is just the point? Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy, knowing that uh, it's going to be a... I don't like this guy here. Judas. Those question everybody. You know, he's got those tattoos like he's a real psychopath. He's supposed to be part of a smart crew. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out? Tell him, Michael, chill the fuck out. Whatever you say. Well, this is a good time. Let's hit this fucking fuck, fuck, fuck you, man. Hey, 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 hey. hey. God, Look at Lester. Hey, 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 hey. Artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags. Ooh, West Coast douchebag. The there you go. Tell him, Franklin. So numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you, you high and mighty weasel. And you... He did call him a high and mighty weasel. Look at him. Look at the little weasel. Leave Lester alone. And I, uh, you know, Michael or me got to stick up for Lester. Fucking sense. You know what I would do? Sake, man. You all Listen. are assholes. Man, I got to go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, sir. All right, the, the heist is over. Recap. If Lester goes to prison, what I just saw, Lester's done. Lester will be somebody's bitch. And I will tell you what. I will shake that son of a bitch down. I would have shook him down on the outside. <clears throat> I think Michael should take Lester and shake him down. Come on! What is Lester? He, he, is, he don't have the balls to do anything. The only heist I've ever seen him do is get in a helicopter in the last heist that I reviewed. Other than that, Lester's behind the scenes. Lester needs a new wardrobe. He's a punk. You never see him in anything. And, and so I'm not, I'm not impressed with Lester. I never was, never would. This heist was actually planned better. Uh, obviously, the getaway... I mean, it wouldn't happen, of course, we know that. But they got away. To get away with it better, they could have went right to a warehouse, stashed it in two different warehouses, so both of the gold. So if you got hit with one of them, you still got away with it. You got half of the gold. So you could split up at that point and then get away. Since they didn't do that, and they went with the trucks underneath the thing, that is always a good thing. I used to often think about what I would do if I was getting chased by the cops. And I would go into parking garages and often thought about having a car in a parking garage that was waiting for me, opened, and and where maybe even something in the back seat where I can go under it and hide, literally, until they got out because they didn't know where you were. But I would get out of there somehow and maybe change the disguise. There's a lot of different ways when you can get, but the air is, is, is a great way. And in today's world, though, with cameras, Forget about it, you know, nothing can really happen. In this robbery though, they didn't worry about their faces being seen. So all our faces were known and they would have been caught because the cameras on those uh, cameras in the in the mint or, or the bullion where the gold was held, they're gonna catch these guys. The other robberies was where they had masks, this one none. So they're definitely gonna be caught in that regard. Uh, Obviously, getting shot is one thing I, I see a lot of, and nobody gets killed, but that's GTA. Hey, great heist, everybody. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed doing this again. Uh, had a lot of fun doing it, and we're going to do more of it. Uh, give me your comments on all this stuff. I really enjoy it. Make sure you check out our merch for GTA merch. We got now GTA merch, so check that out. And, you know, I'm going to be doing more and more of these until I make my own GTA show. I'm going to be the new Lester in the show. That's what we need to happen. I want to be the mastermind, not Lester. 
Anyway, check them all out, everybody. Check all of our uh, videos out. We got some great videos. The book is still out there. Check that out. Check out our playlists and, and take the videos and put them on your playlist. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Pass the word of what we're doing, please. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, keep supporting us in every way you can. We really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, check out all those uh, links below in the description. And please pass the word. More importantly, make good choices, everybody. You know when this thing gets big enough, we're going to really push prison reform in a big, big way. Uh, I really like your help. I need your help and, and respect you guys. So keep doing good. Just keep staying safe. Keep listening to the officials. We're all going to get through everything we're doing. And we're going to all be stronger for it. You know, adversity makes people stronger. And that's just a fact. Hang in there, everybody. Much love. Much respect. Watch our next video coming out soon. Have a great day, everybody. Much respect.